But with this, you detach, inflict 2,000. They're at 6,000. You yep. pop a card. And then you go into this. And then you detach. Uh, make a 6,000 attack. So yep. if there's a clear board, you are you already win. Okay. Uh, if they have monsters, you're attacking twice with 6,000 attack. So. Who are you? Hey, I'm Chris. And then what are you playing today? I am playing Trains with some Shadals. What, what does this deck do? So the point of this deck is to completely OTK your opponent. Um, I saw a, a variant that topped the ARG. It was pretty good. Uh, it was going first variant, but I feel like you, know, you have to take advantage of the big boss monster that came out in Sisters of the Rose. So uh, I, def I catered the main deck, at least, to a going second deck. Going second? So you're just like selling a bunch of monsters and an OTK. Exactly, yeah. We'll, we'll explain exactly how you OTK once we get into it. Okay, and do you like this deck so far? Is it very consistent? Oh, I love it. It's very consistent, yeah. The, the new support really brings this deck to another level. Doesn't put it at meta. Yeah. It's definitely a solid rogue choice, and no one expects it. Like, uh -huh, when you drop not. the boss monster, like, no, everyone thinks that they have the insane card advantage yeah. you're always will be lower on card advantage but it doesn't matter if you're going for light points yeah show me what you got all right so first we're going to start with one of the old ones okay um knight express knight what does so guy do? very simple effect uh you can normal summon without attributing but attack becomes zero mm -hmm. on the surface it may not seem that good but your whole deck revolves around having earth machines on the field and all your effects trigger when you have earth when you summon earth machines and when you have them on the field and he's level 10 he gets into your rank 10s easily okay. and all you need is a rank 10 and you have game it's an otk so well because of that new card right because the new card yeah and i'll oh, wow. explain uh how to do that later. okay so another old one and my favorite of the level 10s is heavy freight train uh Derek crane okay so his effect is when you normal special summon an earth machine monster of any level you can special this from your hand, so it's kind of like Kage to Kage. Ah. Um, one of the great things about it, my favorite part of it, is that if it's a material, if you detach it to activate an Xyz monster's effect, you can pop a card on the field. Oh, that's amazing. And that that second effect is not once per turn. It's so if you have turn? if you have recursion cards, you can bring it back, pop again, and you can just clear your whole opponent's board before you OTK them. Oh, that's too good. So this is my favorite one. Okay. By far. Now we're gonna go for one of the new ones which is uh, Super Express Bullet Train. Oh. Uh, this one's similar to Derek Crane. It specials itself out of the hand if you control all Earth Machine monsters, and it is an activated effect. Um, another advantage of it is that if it, in the end phase, if this is in the graveyard, you can recycle a train, uh, any, I think it's any machine monster, um, from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Um, the, one of the bad things about this card is that if you want to attack, you have to send two cards you control to the graveyard. Oh, okay. But a lot of I, I was still able to OTK someone today with with this card and huh? sending two of my cards to the graveyard. So. Oh wow! You, you can still do it. Um, and plus this whole deck is about uh, effect negation, including negating your own monster's effects. Uh -huh. So if you negate that effect, it's a three thousand beater, and it's That's... pretty hard to get over for like decks like Sky Strikers. Of course. Especially yeah. if its effects are negated, because then they can't widow anchor you. Uh huh. Um, so yeah. Okay. Now for the level fours. This is the new level four. Ooh. This is Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Okay. So essentially it's a wolf bark on summon, normal or special. You can target any earth machine monster in your graveyard, special summon it. In defense, its effects are negated. Um, it has another effect where you can target one other monster on your side of the field, and you can make both monsters the level of either. So you could technically make rank fours in this deck. You can have, you can bring back Bullet Train. You can make him level four. Okay. You can overlay for a rank four. I don't play rank fours though. We just go for rank tens. Yeah, he's one so of you can make them as level possible. 10. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about running an Exiton Knight just for the surprise, but you have a lot of destruction as a, as it is anyway. Okay. And now for the old level four is Ruffian Railcar. <laughs> um, this one has kind of gotten to the wayside a little bit because. Uh, this guy's a little bit better, okay. but he still has value in the deck, especially when you don't OTK and you have to go through the grind game. Um, it's a Skarm, so during the end phase, it searches any level 10 Earth Machine. Okay. So it's good to send off Shadal Fusion, and it's good to summon off of Urgent Schedule so you can get into the graveyard. I'll get into those cards in a second. Okay. Speaking of Shadals, we run a small Shadal engine. Um, oh. I used to run, before the new support came, I used to run uh, Shadal trains with like seven Shadals, but now with the new support, you really don't. Um, you, you really just want to go for the OTK. You don't really care too much about the Shadal. You just care about Shekinaga. So these two, definitely important. These are the best ones. Okay. So uh, this is mostly for dumping the, the trains to the graveyard. Yeah, dumping trains to the graveyard with Shadal Fusion and getting out Shekinaga, which is a level 10 Earth Machine. Okay. So it triggers all your effects. And it also has an effect that people don't realize that uh, if a special summon monster activates its effect, 
You could discard a shit all card, negate, and destroy it. So you can protect. You can have this up and protect your place okay. while you're going for uh, a train. So for hand traps, I'm only playing six, three ash, and three droll. Um, I really meant to play impermanence, but I don't have impermanence yet. <laughs> um, okay. But droll was pretty good. Uh, I played against two sky strikers. Um, so you drilled me. <laughs> Did I draw you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I drilled someone on upstart. That was pretty good. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's a good hand trap. I don't think it's great this format. I definitely replace it with impermanence. Yeah. Impermanence also has a kind of offensive uh, aspect to it. Uh -huh. You can kind of hold the impermanence yeah. and just negate your opponent's stuff so to out their board and just mm -hmm. OTK them. So it's got a little more flexibility with that. Uh, now for the bomb cards. So these are complete blowouts. Uh, Shadal Fusion and Urgent Schedule. Urgent so Shadal Fusion, everyone's summoned from the extra deck. So you send two monsters. Uh, you can send you, know, you send one Shadal and you send one train uh, from your deck to your graveyard and you summon the earth machine triggers all your effects so you either get a you get pop a spell or trap which is really good against outing the sky striker boards or you can draw a card if you need more advantage you just want to get into more combo pieces yep so should all fusion is really important for extending your place and urgent schedule is the new card is one of the new cards one of the best cards in my opinion if your opponent controls more monsters than you do special summon two uh machine two earth machines from your deck one has to be level 4 or lower, and one's level 4 or higher. Their effect's negated, and you can only attack with machine monsters during the rest of that turn. But you're really just... It's really a level 10 from the deck, plus a guy that you can make a link monster with. Okay. Um, this deck kind of struggles with making link monsters before making the Xyz monsters. Sometimes you just go straight for the Xyz monster. Actually, most of the time you do. <laughs> but this deck really helps with getting that link monster out. Mm -hmm. So, And that's usually Cliffward Genius, but I do run another one that I'll get into in a second. So these cards are very good. Oh, and this card... If this card's set, sent to the graveyard, you can search a train. Uh, I never use that because it's a quick play. You're just going to respond yeah. to whatever your opponent's doing. Uh, it's better going second, but still really good for going first for defensively. Um, now for the consistency card. Uh, three revolving switchyard and two terraforming to search it. Um, switchyard has two effects. So once per turn... Uh, hard once per turn. You can send a card from your hand to the graveyard as cost. Search a level 10 earth machine. So it's good for getting those pieces you want to go for that ODK. And it has a second effect, which I don't use as much, but it's also pretty good. Um, if you summon a level 10 Earth Machine monster, you can special summon a level 4 Earth Machine monster from your deck, and it becomes level 10. The only caveat with it is you can't do battle damage that turn. So since you can't do battle damage that turn, you can't ODK. So I try to use the first effect, um, but it's good in your opponent's turn, because if, if you have special schedule set, mm -hmm. And you activate in your opponent's turn, you get out two guys, okay. and you then trigger switch on your opponent's turn. You can summon your Pegasus, and Pegasus can bring guy from the graveyard. Oh, wow. So you're, you're going okay. mad plus on your opponent's That's turn. That's so good. So this deck does have plays on your opponent's turn, believe it or not. Next, we play three desires. This is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. Never run less than three. You need to see desires. You need to get into as many combies as possible. You don't care if you banish most of your resources, because you want to kill that turn. Um, even if you draw another Desires, you can still get into that Shadal Fusion or um, that Urgent Schedule and or just another uh, train piece. Um, one thing you have to watch out for is that if you, since you're only running two Shadals, you could, you could possibly banish all your Shadals. Yeah. That rarely ever happens to me. The odds of banishing two one-ofs in one Desires is really low. And even if, if you have one in your hand, like your and, and a Shadal Fusion. Um, so I run two Call by the Grave. These were originally Exodius. Um, Exodius is yeah, on. Especially when you return all of the graveyard back to the deck. Right. It's a level 10, so it's just another piece. Uh -huh. But I feel like it's really hard not to play Called by the Grave. Um, especially because I want to protect my bomb, you know, my blowout cards, my urgent schedule, and my shit all fusion. So I feel like it's important. These come really in handy, especially games two and three. So. And then for the Reborn cards, one special schedule and one monster reborn. Okay. So special schedule wasn't that good uh, when it first came out. Because you have to bring back a machine that's 3,000 or higher uh, attack. But in this, so, but now you have a new 3,000 attack machine you can bring out. And also, if you have a dead um, train Xyz, you could bring this back in defense position, because it has to be in defense position, and you overlay straight into your big guy. We'll nuts. get into it in a second. So, okay. if you're top decking, like, the, the, this card's ridiculous. It's amazing. So we're going to go into the extra deck. Okay. Just got to organize it a little bit better. How many mini cards? Uh, 40. 40, awesome. Got, got, to, got to see your combo pieces as consistent as possible. 100%. Yeah, no upstart. <laughs> um, two Shekinaga. Okay. Um, 
kind of what I explained before. Yep. I run two because you're always going to be sending Shekinaga from the from to the graveyard, whether as a material or you know for a link summon, yep. and you're gonna add that Shadow Fusion back to your hand. Mm -hmm. um, even if it even if it's an Exceed material, it'll still trigger. Um, so it's good to have the two just in case. Hasn't come up yet, but I think it's good to have. So for the train Exceeds, two Gustav Max. This is part of your OTK. Inflicts 2,000 if you detach one. Mm -hmm. And if you have a Derek Crane under it, you can pop a card. So it helps clear your opponent's board and get you into kill range. So very important. Uh, two uh, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Super Dora. This is your only real defensive monster in your extra deck besides Shekinaga. And that's because during either player's turn, you could detach and you could target one monster. That card is unaffected by card effects for the rest of the turn. So you normally target him, and if he's in defense, he's 4,000 defense. There are not many things that can get over 4,000 defense unaffected by card effects. That's a big booty. I was just playing against like a Goki Spiral deck, yeah. and he made a whole board sleeper, use Soul Charge, whole board sleeper, um, Griffin, Unicorn, but he couldn't out this. He had nothing in his deck that could out this. So next turn, I just licked away with it and just went for game. Wow. Um, Win by default. Yeah. <laughs> Two of the big boss monster oh, that really okay. puts this deck ahead. Um, so you can, so it's a rank 11, um, but you can exceed summon it by summoning it on top of any train. So you summon, you summon Gustav Max, you burn, you summon this. Okay. So one good thing, well, one of the many good things about this is you could detach, yeah. and it becomes 6,000 attack and defense, permanent. Okay. Um, when you use that effect, only this card can attack per turn. Okay. Only this card can attack. But that's okay, because this card's going to probably go for game anyway. Yeah. Um, and its second effect is it can attack monsters for as many times as you have exceed uh, materials under it plus one. So if I have one material, that's two attacks. Um, and it's attack monsters. So if your opponent eagle boosters, mm -hmm. your Sky Striker opponent eagle boosters like a Shizuku or something, you can just keep attacking the Shizuku and go for game. Because okay. if it, it can't be destroyed by battle. Um, so yeah, this card is like your win condition. This is your win condition. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. You have to go into this card, which is why I'm not a huge fan uh -huh. of the going first version. Even though it was it was very, very good list. Um, I feel like you need to take full advantage of this card. Especially game one. I've won every game one, except for one today. Um, Sky Palace Gondorai. Mm -hmm. Oh, this card's really super good, right? Yeah, so he's another guy. He's a rank 10 machine, so you can summon hit on top of him. Okay. Um, his effect is you can detach one card, pop a card, mm -hmm. and inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. It can not attack during the turn. You do use that effect, but it doesn't matter because you're going straight into Night him. Yep. And if he has Derek Crane, you pop two cards. So it's literally just board clearing into your into your yeah, win condition. So it's ridiculous. And three cards that I have never summoned since I've played this deck. You play three of? But are oh, very good. Kinds, okay. They're three different spiders. Okay. Um, so this is the rank 10 spider, Ravenous Tarantula. Yep. Um, he gains attack and defense equal to life point differential. Okay. So if I'm at 3,000, my opponent's at 9,000. This All your monsters gain 6,000 attack. So it's... You can pull up some cheeky OTKs with it. I mean, you already have your this guy the big for dude. OTK, so you yep. normally don't need it, but it's good for that. Okay. Also, you can detach, uh -huh. and you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to what it has. Okay. So it's a it's a regeki. Wow. Then you rank up into the uh, rank eleven. Okay. So this is a similar effect. It gains two hundred defense for all. Uh, for every rank on the field. So if this is a rank 11, it automatically has 2200 defense. Okay. And you could detach a card, destroy all monsters your opponent controls with defense less than or equal to what it has. Okay. So if it's 2200 defense, you destroy everything with less than that. The one drawback of this is it doesn't work with Link Monsters. Link Monsters don't have defense. So. These cards, they're good to have. Um, I haven't used them yet. And finally, Seven Sins. So you summon him, then you summon him over him, and then you summon this. So, this card is 4,000 beater. If it will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach a um, material instead. Okay. So, it's just hard to get over. Also, except on the turn you summon it, you can detach and banish all spells on monsters your opponent controls. Oh, wow. So, you have to wait a turn, um, unless you hard summon it, which is two level 12 monsters, so you can't hard. do that in this deck. Yep. So. And finally, the three link monsters. Okay. Two Cliff Fort Genius. Um... This card's really good in this deck. Unfortunately, oh. we don't have the train link yet, which lets us summon uh, two rank 10s a lot easier. But this card, 
Um, it gives you two link zones for just two machine monsters. It's Earth Machine, so you can still trigger all your stuff. And also, you can target one card your opponent controls and one card you control and negate both effects. Oh, yeah. So this is insane in trains, because all your guys, like either all your main deck trains either lose attack or have bad effects they want to get rid of. So you can negate this guy. Mm -hmm. And he's got 3,000 attack, and he's got no restrictions. I can attack without having to destroy cards. Oh, so you can negate this thing, make it big. And, oh, exactly. Wow, I can, wow, I can okay. negate this, which makes it go from 1,400 to 2,800 attack. And I can negate this, which goes from 0 attack to 3,000 attack. Wow, that's insane. So this card's ridiculous. Also, if you if you use your switch yard already this turn, that's also a card you can negate, your switch yard. Oh, okay. Um, and also for floodgates, which I run in the deck, you can disable your own floodgates with this. Any spell... Uh, summon limit, whatever you want to play. Okay. So this card's nuts. And also it has that additional effect where if you special summon two uh, machine monsters uh -huh. to, it, uh, to its link zones at the yeah. same time, you can search a um, you can search a level 5 or higher machine. So you can technically pull this off in this deck because this summons two at once. Oh yeah, it does. So you yeah. summon them to the zones. Okay. I haven't done it yet. Kind of cheeky. But you can still do it. it know, cool. that, know that it's out there, yeah. Okay. And probably my favorite uh, Link Monster. Oh, what is this guy? This is Pentastag. Oh. Um, so basically, it just requires two effect monsters. Okay. And the Link Link Monster inflicts yeah. piercing. So if you summon the big guy <laughs> with 6,000 attack yeah. and your opponent has all defense monsters, yep. you're attacking multiple times against defense monsters and inflicting piercing oh, wow. at 6,000 attack. That's too so good. I pulled that off once today. Um, it was against the. Uh, the Jack Danger Jackalope, which yep. I think has zero defense, so I just killed straight through it. Uh, yeah. Oh, and my side deck. So we're kind of running a pseudo smoke screen. Okay. Um, because after you OTK your opponent, your opponent's probably gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna put this guy first because he's probably gonna know first turn plays. He's right, but that's why you run all floodgates. Okay. Um, first of all, like these are not so much floodgates. Third call by the grave. Yep. Come in handy. And three twin twisters for those back row decks. Mm -hmm. uh, for Sky Striker. Uh, Alter guys, whatever. Yep. Uh, three red reboot. This is also for going second. OTK time. But yeah, this is self-explanatory. You shut off your opponent's traps and you win. Okay. Um, so now for the stun cards, uh, three D barrier. Uh, I have to run this because I have a bad Thunder Dragon matchup. Okay. Um, I can kill them, but like, or Coloss play forbidden apocrypha. That is true. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Colossus is hard to get over. Uh -huh. So if you go first, you just want to shut out that stuff. Okay. Um, three Annie spell. I was originally run, thinking of running Summon Limit. Yeah. Um, from the ARG list, mm -hmm. but I didn't have it. Um, also, this card just shuts down Sky Strikers. It does. Uh, yeah, it's just very good. I might run Summon Limit in the future, but this card really perform performs well. And final stun cards. Order and Skill Drain. <laughs> skill Drain's nuts because, like I said, uh, negating all your effects. Um, you all your trains get back to the normal attack and you just you put it to simplify games game state where you're just normal summoning 3,000 beaters so it's really kind of self-explanatory and Derek Crane still triggers when you're attempting to activate your rank 10 so you could still pop cards under skill drain okay um, so quick not combo um, just easy way to OTK your opponent so you just need two you need two rank 10s okay two rank 10s we have night. This is like the bread and butter. This is like the original old train okay. combo, quote unquote combo. Okay. You normal summon this without tributing. Triggers Derek Crane because you summoned an Earth yep. Machine, and you exceeds mm -hmm. into Gustav Max. Okay. If you can go for game without it, uh, you can summon Dora for extra prote protection. Uh -huh. But with this, you detach, inflict two thousand. They're at six thousand. You yep. pop a card, and then you go into this, and then you detach, uh, make it six thousand attack. So if yep. there's a clear board, you are you already win. Okay. Uh, if they have monsters, you're attacking twice with 6,000 attack. So. That's super good. So, so two level 10s can get you there. Okay, awesome. Any closing comments? Um, other than that, I think it's a it's a good rogue deck. Yeah. Um, it catches people by surprise. Um, someone explained it as the new... What's that, that deck? What? Crusadia. Crusadia. Crusadia, Crusadia, Crusadia. It's like the new Crusadia because um, it's an OTK deck. But I feel like your OTK is very consistent in this deck because you literally just need to get two trains out. And, and that's it. And obviously, you might need a little more than two trains just uh -huh. to bait out your opponent's stuff, but that's easy to get. You, there's trains everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's about it. All right, sounds great. What's your name again? Fun deck, Chris. Thank you. Bye.